Hi there. In this video we are going to be taking a look at this Parkside socket set with 216 pieces. Chrome vanadium, chrome molybdenum and S2 steel. Depending on what they are actually for. Because for impact, for example, you need chrome molybdenum. For standard, uh, you need chrome vanadium and S2 that I do not need, uh, know for what you need it. Uh, yeah, here it shows you what we have inside. Laser markings. Nice. Anyway, this is a really big set. Uh, I lived a long time in an apartment and never got one of these because it was just too big. But moving into a house, uh, the missus allowed to have such nice things. So I will just give you a quick overview onto everything that this thing and uh, has and you can see here it tells you the material. So even some weird shapes we have in there. Steel chrome vanadium. Chrome vanadium also for here. 90 degrees adapters and what not. Uh, bigger and smaller ratchets Steel chrome vanadium everything in here and okay, so this is what we have from s2 and I think these ones are the ones right here and this one So the orange ones are from s2 chrome vanadium and uh, chrome molybdenum Where are you? Okay, so either they they did uh, a booboo somewhere and didn't write chrome molybdenum in here or there is no chrome molybdenum. That's a bit weird honestly, but yeah, anyway, let's open this thing up. Okay, and this thing is opened up, still haven't find, found any chrome molybdenum, but anyway, took this thing out with a Philips bit. It's a number two because I need to work on some sockets. This one fits. And this has more than I, I would ever need. These huge things probably never will use them. But it has all sorts of safety and weird uh, things in here. Some of them like that one I never saw actually. And you also have another set right there of torques and whatnot. These really long ones. This from 8 to 19, this for spark plugs, all kind of extensions and adapters and what not. Three of these for each size. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like, this one you can see from the material when it was uh, bent uh, into shape. Uh, yeah, that could make it crack if you apply an extreme amount of force on it, but probably you'll uh, break something else first. So yeah, up until now this looks awesome and let's put it to the test and see how it works. I, what are the, okay, so they are the same thing, really long but really small at the same time. So it's a number four but really long. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty cool honestly. I am maybe too enthusiastic about this but I always wanted to, uh, a big tool kit like this and now I have one. So everything seems to stay nicely in place, no issues whatsoever up until now, but I will probably still keep this between them and let's get to work. Obviously rubber grip on it, I yeah, already put it down because uh, why not, maybe we can see some info in here if anybody is interested, Germany, so Parkside obviously. So. Yeah, let me get to work and I will be back to you over a few months when I keep continuing to use this and uh, give a closure to the video. If I like it in the end or not, but the first impression, really good, lots of basically everything that you could ever want. Continuing to work with this set with a huge ratchet, working on uh, some really, really, really long screws. I think they are about this long. Uh, with uh, those plastic inserts into concrete it's really fun but with this thing 
Yeah, <coughs> sorry, error. You can do it without absolutely any issue. I must sadly announce that the clicket on the middle racket is sleeping from time to time and it seems to be getting worse. So I went back to my Yato, uh, which will most likely replace this in the set. Kind of sad, I will try to open it up and see if I can fix it somehow. Uh, and the small one is also sleeping from time to time, from the start. So up until now from three ratchets, only the big one is good. The other two are quite bad. But I will replace them with something better because the tips themselves, the sockets seem to be good, or at least for the moment. A really long while later, Let's see if I can figure out why this thing uh, isn't that good. The screws are not supposed to be on this side. I just put them there so I don't lose them. They are normally from this side, so they are small torques. And did them. And I think we can simply push it out. Hopefully nothing will fly out. Or... It is wiggling around, but doesn't really want to come out, so maybe I need to... Put one of these back in. Oh, that's a nice touch. They had some, uh, uh, I can't remember, Loctite. Seems to be wanting to come out, but it's not. Maybe there's something else that I'm missing. I do not know. They didn't really open up. Uh, stuff like this until now so be back to you when i figure out what's the proper way to to do it but it should come out through this side that kind of uh, is obvious oh man i really hope this is not forever locked by flattening this right here which could be the end of this because in that case let's see does it rotate it rotates that's the end of this thingy right here. So basically this cannot be opened up. But wh why did they put actually screws? So... Ah, this is stupid design. So I need to grind that down. But once I do that, I cannot... Uh... hold this in place anymore it will always want to fall out what the are they all like this that you cannot open them i really wanted to try and fix it instead of just replacing because it's no it's worse and worse and worse the more i use it the worse it gets so i need to to do something about it but uh, might not be doable i might just need to replace it which kind of sucks a while later the auto has arrived. Let's uh, remove the plastic. Just in case you want to do the same thing, this is the model for the auto 0730. As you can see, the auto is one centimeter longer, so probably it will not fit in here too nicely. But uh, I am going to do some modifications for it to fit. This one also isn't fitting nicely. I will also do some modification. This is even a straight one compared to this one, but already had this one, so I'm not going to buy another. And I will keep this for the, that once in a lifetime uh, uh, problem when I really need a curved one, even if it will sleep from time to time. This one sleeps all the time, so this is useless and it cannot be opened up. If we look at the Yato, hi there, it can be opened up nice and if we look at the wobble on it camera focus almost nothing come back to this one yeah so this this is why this is sleeping the gaps are just too big so sad but this is absolutely useless this will get, be kept just in case but not in this kit this kit will be like this but after i dremel a little bit out so they can fit in there and yes if you you were wondering this uh, goes in here uh, nicely so it's as it should be 
and they actually stay in place so it's not uh, like they fly out of here which is great and this is about it for uh, this kit overall really good apart from these two but for me now i have even better ones uh, than they could have been if made by uh, parkside in my opinion but the rest of them are really really strong and work perfectly and it's a really good assortment even for working on cars and uh, around the house so i recommend you you get it maybe in a newer version i understand there's a newer version now maybe they uh, fixed this issue which would be awesome the only thing uh, that i hate um, is that i lost one of the bits and i needed to replace it but i did replace it again with a good quality one so in theory we didn't lose anything uh, in quality of uh, the set overall and yeah that's about it i know it's not extremely cheap but uh, uh, these things are way more expensive if you get them for a, a well-known brand but uh, get this one and upgrade what you need and that's about it hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye